I'm Dave Dalby. I'm the uh, audio video designer here at Marathon Coach. And today we're going to be talking about the brand new infotainment system in the dash. The infotainment system has along the outside multiple features that you can choose. In this case, audio is highlighted. We have a source button that allows you to choose which source you would like to listen to, Bluetooth, radio, USB, Sirius XM. They also show a EQ settings. And while we're talking about EQ, I'll just show you what they're talking about. They have some presets that adjust your bass, middle, and trebles for different styles of music, or the advanced button that allows you to adjust your own treble, bass, mid-range, you can escape that with the X and go back to your current source. For example, if we wanted to listen to radio FM, we have FM selected the AM. You can actually scan new channels. And if you wanted to set a preset for that channel, just press and hold on your preset. That locks in that channel. AM works much the same way. Select your channel and dial in your preset. Bluetooth source where you want to play from a Bluetooth device back into the audio system. Other sources, if you have MP3 files on a USB stick, you can choose that. And there is a USB jack just underneath the dash in the drawer that you can put your USB stick in and play back music files. Sirius XM. Right now we're picking up some of the preview channels. And at this time, I'll show you a little bit about the volume. Just by pressing the volume, It'll bring up the small screen and you can see a graph with up and down buttons to ad adjust the volume of whatever audio source is playing. The little speaker to the right of the volume number is your mute switch. When it's muted, it will show an X. This will disappear on its own or you can tell it to disappear. Going from audio to the next button down is the shades shows a representation of the front of the coach in the cockpit, the night shades and day shades. Night shades are a completely light blocking shade for your privacy. Day shades would be the see-through shades that are available for the cockpit front windshield windows. Just choose the window that you would like, whichever one that might be. So we have the main windshield highlighted right now and we have the ability to run that shade up or run the shade down. Next uh, item on the screen is cameras. And we can choose from all of the 360 cameras. In this case, this will be the, the left screen. It'll show a top representation and then the left camera of the coach, the right camera, rear, forward, as well as an overhead through 360 view. And then the quad, which basically shows all four cameras simultaneously. You also have the ability to look at the Roof cameras that look at the top of the slide outs to see if there's any de debris on the top of the slide outs when you want to bring them in. So this is the rear driver's side. In this case, the rear driver's side is the slide out is in right now. And here's the front driver's side and the slide out is out. And it's really to see if there's debris on top when you want to bring the slides in. The next item is the navigation. Navigation is pretty much like all the other navigation systems out there where it allows you to set a destination and it will map that route for you. To do that, hit the little magnifying glass, put in an address. This has been added onto our destination list and if we like this, we can actually add it as a favorite to our address book. You can anytime remove those favorites if you like. At this point, the route is set and ready to go. This particular navigation system will give you turn-by-turn -turn information on the screen. Instead of just looking 2D at the screen, you have a, a 3D option. You can also zoom in and out so you can get a, a better feel for where you're starting and where you're going. Next item we have on the screen is leveling. This is something brand new for us. We're actually able to do on-screen controls of the leveling system in the coach. You'll get an actual screen to let you see what's actually moving right now. They're trying to bubble up. So you're leveling with uh, almost like a bubble level and you can 
actually do it manually if you like. Next item on the screen is the phone. So with the phone system, you have the ability to dial in by number or go through your contacts. Next item is the button marked house. The controls will give the ability to lock and unlock both the bay doors and the entry door. So you don't have to get up to unlock the door from the driver's seat, you can do it right here. Lights allow you to turn on and off the driver's light, the light directly over the driver, the step light right by the entry door, the patio lights outside, and then the master lights within the coach. One of the last things, which we've already touched on once before, where the settings are, probably the only other thing that would be used quite a bit in the settings would be the brightness. This is where you would adjust how bright the screen is, and that's pretty much it.